it is, yo. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Today's video comes courtesy of AF Sister Wig. They sent me a really nice pixie cut. You guys know I don't do these too often, so I'm about to slay it to the best of my ability. It's going to be fly. They included some elastic bands. They included these wig caps. They also included some little combs inside that little baggie. Really, really nice packaging. And look at me. So ungrateful I dropped it. But anyways, this is what the wig looks like off. It's a nice really nice nice full wig i believe it's 150 percent density it is um labeled as a pixie cut on the site and what's even cooler it's a full lace wig you guys see this is full lace um there is a comb adjustable straps in the back also there are three combs in the front the center comb is kind of like offset to the side and it is kind of pre-parted i'm showing you here that this is a full lace so this is like the middle um of the back of the cap and you can see there's lace everywhere so this is what the wig looks like on really nice it has some layering to it it is pre-parted to be parted basically on the left side my left side nice full body um and then it is again layered now if you're gonna wear a pixie you gotta make sure you slay the back of your head go ahead and like gel your like nape the hair and the nape of your hair back like upwards into a ponytail or bun but you don't want your own natural like kitchen if you will to be like you know naturally just hanging out there you want it to be nice and sleek and make sure that your cap is not showing so this is where i went wrong i went ahead and um used my blast free spray to go ahead and bond the wig down um in the process i pulled my wig cap up so later in the video you guys will see that it, it looks like there's like a lump or a hump um at the hairline right behind the baby hair and it's that cap because i glued it there normally my cap i kind of pull it forward and it naturally will just slide back um over time so that it's not sitting like right there but mine's is like literally sitting right there where my comb is and it makes it look like a hump so if you're gonna glue or bond your wig cap underneath down make sure that you use the actual um, um what do you call it wig cap method where you kind of cut the wig cap you glue it down and you cut the edges off you can kind of see it there um kind of annoying but you know my mistake guys but the wig is bonded down really nicely i did not add an elastic band this time because i knew i was going to bond it down but if you're not going to be bonding it down you definitely definitely want to add that elastic band normally i do regardless of whatever because every day i don't have time to you know hot glue it got to i'm sorry not hot glue it, but got to be glue it or whatever so i just like to have some security there so that on days when i don't need or can't um you know necessarily do all my steps in the morning at least my wig is still you know laying down now whenever you do use like your free spray your spritz or even your got to be glued to go ahead and bond the wig down it's a great idea to use a nice scarf to go ahead and just lay it there and allow the process to just happen naturally underneath the um, scarf this is going to help it to bond down, to lay flat and all that greatness. Now for the sake of this video, I went ahead and did it just because my sideburns don't always lay down amazingly. I only left my scarf on for about maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes actually. Um, but normally I would recommend that you leave it on for a good 20 minutes. So like put the scarf on after you bond the wig down and then like do your makeup. And then after you do your makeup, it'll be perfectly ready to go. So here I am choosing my parting. It came pre-parted. I wanted the parting just a slight bit more deep. And as you guys can see, this wig is so nice. It's so full of body. Um, so I just used my little duckbill clips to kind of um, hold the parting in place while I went ahead and did the baby hair. Um, I'm cutting the baby hair super short. This is like my ideal perfect length of baby hair. Um, I just like it when it's super short. Not really sure how long it is, maybe like a quarter of an inch. I'm not really that good with the metric system. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this um, edge control to go ahead and swoop the baby hair. Again, the first time you do your baby hair, you're doing it to form the baby hair um, and, you know, all that greatness. But the second time, it's going to be even more popping, especially after you add your powder and you're able to see, like, if you don't like it this thick, you're able to go back in and pluck and tweeze. But just like, you know, if you're a beginner, if this is too full, don't feel pressure to like that same moment you know go back and tweeze it out kind of just let it be finish it and then go back in and customize it even more just a little tip 
So here I am just using a flat iron to kind of press in that parting. You guys seen this hair has so much body that whenever you part it, it just still reverts back. So I kind of needed to use a little bit of heat to go ahead and make sure that I can hold the parting in place. Now here I am. I'm going ahead and I am just using my flat iron to bump the hair. Um, even though it's a nice short pixie cut, it did not come with the curls. That is something that you will definitely have to do yourself if you want like the pixie cut with like the little messy, you know, Halle Berry back in the day kind of situation now I don't recommend um, this style of hot comb or flat iron to do it I recommend like a really small barrel curling iron um, at this point in the video I completely forgot that I already have one of those so I was just trying to make do with what I had and use my flat iron and this is the result so you guys can kind of see like if you don't have one of those what you know you can do you can finesse it and make it work a little bit but you're gonna see in just a moment that I am gonna switch over to my um, really 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 tiny curling iron I think it's like half an inch or so um, and that one is gonna be what's gonna give you that really nice bomb pixie cut holly berry messy Betty boop situation you know what I mean um, whenever you're bumping make sure that you're bumping the back too and again you just want to take small sections and bump separately and this is going to give you that dimension and those curls you could kind of see my baby hair or not even my baby hair my kitchen peeking in the back a little bit like I said before go ahead and gel or you know do something with your baby hair. You kind of want to gel it going upwards away so that it's super flat back there and you don't see any of that. Um, here I am going ahead and just trying to make the hairline look a little bit more natural. And this is what I was talking about. You may not always customize it exactly how you want it in the very first go. You can always go back in and customize. Um, this is like the exact moment right here. You're going to see me get real frustrated. This is the moment when I realized my, like I'm frustrated right here y'all because it's not coming out. I realized that my, my uh, tweezers were a little bit dull or a lot of bit dull these are by tweezer man so i'm gonna have to send them off to get um freshly sharpened or you know just go buy a new pair i'm using my morphe palette um in oh boy you can just go on morphe's website and find it um i'll have it listed down below but um, i'm just going to use this to go ahead and fill in the um hairline and the baby hair to look a little bit more like my skin tone and to kind of sort of sort of you know make it look a little flawless now at this point, I was loving this style, but I just felt like it was very amateur. Like, I needed to be a little bit more flaky. Like, I liked it. I liked it a lot, but it was just like, yo, yo, we got to amp it up. I got to look like I came out the salon, not out of, you know, my auntie kitchen, you know? So I went ahead and added my mousse. I was trying to avoid adding any products, but, you know, got to do what you got to do. Mousse is going to help to flatten that area out so it's not so puffy. It's also going to give it like a nice shine. It's going to get rid of any flyaways. It's going to make it look super tamed and sleek and silky and, you know, all those great things. And this is where I pulled out my little tiny, tiny, tiny curling iron. I want to say this is a half inch. It could be a quarter inch. I honestly don't know. I will have it linked down below with the exact size that it is. If you're going to do a pixie cut and you kind of want that Betty girl, Betty girl, Betty boop look, this is the one that you need. Um, also, AF Sister Wig did give me a coupon code while we go through this. It is Ashley10, and you can save 10% off of your purchase if you use that code. Um, this is 150% density. The cap is medium, 22.5 inches. Again, this is a full lace wig, so I just wanted to make sure I you know, let you know what was going on. And this one, by the way, is very affordable. I went on the website to kind of look at and navigate and see, you know, how the website worked out. And this one, I think was, you can get it basically for $100 if you're on a budget. Um, they do have different options. They have 130% density, 180% density, minus right in the middle at 150% density. If you go 130% density, I think you can get it for like $120. That's really, really, really good price. Um, and then if you want it a little bit more full, go with that 180% density and make it do what it do. Now, I am not as um, versed with this curling iron. So, um, you know, I did kind of take my time Time and do the best I could but I definitely will agree that practice makes perfect but this was pretty much it you're gonna see me curl it a little bit more and then you're gonna see the ending result and the results were popping like I posted this on my Instagram story and everybody was like what wig is that where's the details where's the details and it's been a couple of days but I'm about to tell you guys where it came from everybody loves me in short bobs not my favorite but you know you guys love them so they must look good right I finished it off with a little bit of finish finishing spray and that was pretty much it everything listed in the description bar thank you AF sister for sending this wig over thank you 
you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.